I pride myself in being a candid vlogger. So this is the reality, is that every Sunday at the moment I seem to get migraines. I could not shift the migraine. I have tablets from the GP, which are called Rosatriptan. I've been taking for years and they are really good if I nip it. It's usually in the small hours of the morning, which is really irritating. I get woken up at like five, six, seven, maybe. Then I'll take a trip down, I'll sleep it off, and usually it, it's fine. Yesterday, it happened. I got up at 7.20, took a trip down. Didn't go. It was an awful, awful day. Very lively as a person, I like to like, get things done. You know, every day's a blessing. I've never had a migraine like it. And you go to sleep and you wake up thinking it's all gonna be gone and it, and it just isn't and it's the worst feeling in the world, I just wanna cry. I absolutely stink. Um, I don't remember the last time I had a wash, I think it was like... I don't know. <laughs> I have actually had a wash. A while ago, my friend left work and he was a great friend actually he wasn't there for very long but we got on like house on fire you know like those people that you just click with and you're like yes you're my person he got me this basically there was a few of us with the name of harry he was called harry there was someone else called harry and i was harry and anyway we took this picture together and so i framed it and gave it to him and you know that was my gesture and he got me this and i haven't been able to do it because i feel so honoured. So I'm very grateful. Thank you, Harry. I'm now going to make this. I do, I have started a bit of a collection of the flower collection. <laughs> I've gone for Ratatouille. It's really one of my favourites. Hello. I'm over myself. Um, it is Thursday and I am about to go to the sauna along the seafront here where I live and yeah it's not something I would normally do it's actually like freezing temperatures today it's it's um threatened snow I'm very excited and kind of nervous and excited and nervous at the same time <laughs> let's do this <laughs> I believe it's that little hut there and that's Claire in the black How are you, darling? I'm good, darling. How are you, darling? Go abroad and just go and find a really nice bean and coffee bean. Well, it's lots that, of pipes for you down here. Mm -hmm. Lots. Mm -hmm. take it off it's just so nice i'm gonna just show you what i got from poundland quickly <laughs> i got i got this i love this i think it's so classy honestly glassy get it the cats advent calendars this is like a massive block of catnip oh yes merry christmas it's a really boring job but it actually gives me great pleasure to sort the porch out there's like our oh, summer shoes, summer coats, summer hats here, and it just really irritates me. <laughs> I've got these naughty 
naughty cats. Yes, I'm talking about you. You, you are so naughty. They just scratched it all apart. Oh my goodness. Gareth like loves an advent calendar, and I have to confess that I. I'm not really bothered about it, to be honest. Obviously, I'm older now, but I've never really got the big appeal with the quite expensive advent calendars. I'm quite happy with sort of like a chocolate one. I'm not a great chocolate lover either, and it's so boring. I just don't... Anyway, Gareth seems to be quite into his advent calendars. Um, he has always spoiled me rotten with advent calendars since we got together, which really shocked me because, like... Yeah, I mean, that's great and all, but look at this. This isn't to show off in any way whatsoever. I am, again, I am happy with like any, I'm, I'm just... Look at this. Just in case you're like me and never thought you'd see a Charlotte Tilbury product in your life. This is what the advent calendar looked like. How gorgeous. Look at those, lit, those handles are like crystal. Should we open the first one and just like go for it? It's a little package. Wow, this is, I actually don't know. <laughs> okay, so this is usually 27 quid, just for this. It's obviously, maybe it is normal size, I'm not sure. Uh, it is a collagen lip bath. I can't believe this is like Charlotte Tilbury stuff. Ah, Charlotte Tilbury, I can't believe it. Oh yeah, it feels quite plumpy. Sorry about my spot. You have some good dreams, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? What'd you dream about? Uh, a table. A table? Yeah. Okay. It was like a wooden table. It was quite oh. nice, actually. Fascinating. <laughs>